Hey Flight Simmers, welcome back to a new development update video for October 8th. In this development update video, we're going to go over VR Close Beta, partnership series with Aerosoft, patch note highlights for an upcoming update, development roadmap, feedback snapshot, and lastly, an SDK update. Starting off briefly with the VR Close Beta, the team has mentioned they are currently evaluating the specs and making decisions at this time. They will provide another update here once emails have been sent out to participating testers. Next up is the partnership update with Aerosoft. They released a video of the partnership and I'll provide the link to that video in the description down below. I highly recommend you watch it to see Aerosoft's involvement in this new sim. What you can expect from them in the upcoming future with different add-ons such as sceneries, and the CRJ aircraft for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. Moving on to the patch update, we are expecting a patch update next week, October 13th. A brief patch note highlights were given uh, to us in this development update, but as always, full patch notes will be available the 13th when the update is live. The highlights are the following. There's uh, several bug fixes, such as the VFR map, uh, crash to desktop, avionics black screen etc there's some navigation data updates user interface updates as well as some aerodynamic updates activity updates marketplace updates and lastly world updates moving on to the development roadmap uh, this time provides us with a general schedule of the updates and news to come during uh, the month of october and november some of the highlights are the following for October 13th, as mentioned before, we will be receiving an update. October 27th, we will receive another update as well. In November, we are expecting another update in early November, as well as late November. Uh, for the November updates, that will be uh, update number 6 and update number 7. With the feedback snapshot ever evolving, based on the community's feedback, they have added two new columns. This time around, the first column shows the status of the top bug. Or feature and the second column now shows when it is planned to be released so for update number four which is expected October 13th the black avionics screen bug will be fixed as I mentioned before the buildings that are too high will be fixed uh, an apparent uh, camera crash to desktop in the latest build version which is 1.9.3.0 I haven't experienced that bug but they mentioned that's fixed and lastly, the press any key to start screen will be removed when launching the sim. For some of the highlights and top wishes and top bugs from this feedback snapshot are the following. Dreadful performance issue is a work in progress at the moment and is being investigated. The A320 swaying left and right will be fixed, it seems, in update number 5. Reflections looking grainy even on ultra setting has not been started on. Or worked on yet but it mentions it might be fixed in update number five which is due october 27th the oscillations for some aircraft with the autopilot engaged might be fixed in update number five or all the way to update number nine the fly-by-wire a320 mod is already being worked on and is under investigation opening up the weather system to third-party developers has started but the time frame is still under investigation one of the interesting things that we got in this uh feedback snapshot was uh, directs x12 is being worked on which we knew already but it's still to be determined when that can be expected but it could be alongside with the xbox launch so we don't know when that will be obviously there are more things i can cover but if you want to take a closer look Go ahead and pause the video and uh, spend some time looking at all the top issues and top bugs. Lastly, let's move on to the SDK update. So there's been a developer mode progress uh, for the project editor. They are working on the project editor to facilitate package exporting for community and marketplace targets. A package validation process is also being added to this new published process with a user facing error feedback obviously this tool keeps on being improved thanks to the community feedbacks and bug reports which are systematically taken into account and most of the time addressed straight away there has been some general uh, stability improvements as well 
and for the nodal uh i hopefully you pronounce it that way the nodal visual system they are still uh, making some progress with the effects system which should be ready for production soon so that's quite exciting for uh, third-party developers and, and overall community uh, creators for the web assembly they continue to work on improving debugging information and iteration times and they are further extending the gdi plus uh, compatibility layer they've also updated and fixed part of the documentation and they updated the airport vehicle sample well hopefully you guys enjoyed this development update video if you aren't subscribed yet consider subscribing to stay up to date future videos of mine as always thanks for watching stay safe happy flying and i'll catch you guys in the next video Thank <laughs> you.